Hello, David Yuri families. Welcome to another sneak peek with second grade for our third quarter in math. Math this quarter, we will focus on three digit numbers, building them up, breaking them down, showing that place value can be shown in many different ways, but recognizing the best way to represent those numbers. Then we will use that understanding and everything that we've learned to compare numbers. Then later at the end of the quarter, we will get to partitioning shapes. So I'm so excited to show you what this all means. Here is an example of how we represent numbers. The first one shows representing in the ba basic, the most efficient way that we know how with three hundreds, four tens, and one one. This shows the number 341. These are what we call base 10 blocks. We learned that we can decompose or unbundle this hundred into 10 tens. That is, and now we have 214 tens. Then we also learned that we can unbundle or decompose this 10 into ones. And we have 10 ones. So that's 200s, 14 tens, and 11 ones that we have now. Both of those ways are great in showing the number 341. So students will be able to see that there are different ways to compose three digit numbers, to make three digit numbers. We, using that same number of 341, we will use the place value chart with again, our hundreds, tens and ones to show the many different ways. So I'm not going to go through this whole chart, but as you can see, there are many different ways to represent that number of 341. To help your students, we will be using this anchor chart to remind them of how we can represent those numbers. We use these base 10 blocks of a flat, these called a rod, where they should be familiar with making tens, and these units that we use to draw to make ones. And they know that when we get 10 ones, they trade it for a rod. When we get 10 rods, they trade it, they will learn that you trade it for a hundred. So if they need help, just come back to this video and look at the base 10 blocks to help them. Once they get that understanding, they will then compare numbers and they will use the symbols of greater than that you see right here in the first example. Then they will use the equal sign, which is right here. And then they will use the less than symbol, which is right here. We like to tell students that the symbol that they use, they will show where it's open on this side and they will learn how to make those number sentence using these symbols. Okay, so this is an example. And again, you see here that we like to use base 10 blocks to help them with that. Other tools that we may use, we may use a place value chart that, I, that you previously saw on a different slide. We will use place value cards. Some teachers may use place value chips. There are a lot of different strategies to use. And if you need to help them at home, feel free to Google and look at different strategies to help your student at home. And finally, at the end of the quarter, we will get to partitioning shapes. This will lay the groundwork for them with fractions. So they will not be using the number fractions of one half, one third, one fourth. They will be able to verbalize it and draw and partition shapes. Partition means to just divide the shapes, to cut them up. 
So as you can see, we have this example of the equal shares anchor chart to help you see that visually what they will be doing and what we mean by partitioning shapes. Notice that when they partition shapes, they have to be equal shares. They need to be equal parts. And here we have an example of an anchor chart with equal and unequal. So equal is the correct way to partition shapes and they will be learning more about that. So I'm so excited about the third quarter. I hope you enjoyed this sneak peek. If you need more help, please feel free to reach out to your teacher through email, Class Dojo, Kidum, and Clever. All right. Thank you. And I'm so excited about the third quarter.